just can't get over the beauty of this game. Look at this little crab. Hey, buddy. Hey, doing? Hey, buddy. Oh. Johnny, you scared him away. God damn it. Bye. Really beautiful, isn't it? It's amazing how life is just everywhere in the ocean. And it's funny how organisms, you know, have the same processes, like they need oxygen. <gasps> it's getting dark. It's getting dark, guys. Where's that shark? Johnny and John. Tell me where the shark is. Alright, let's 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 go down here to this... What is that? Guys, what is this? It's kind of sooty in here. I don't know what... Is that a shark? Fuck. Wait, what's that over there? Let's have a look. Before we go into that big, blue, possibly dangerous hole, let's just have a little look around. Okay, guys? What do we have here? Some sort of gate to an underwater palace. My god. Ancient civilization. Can we get in here, guys? J and J. Boop, boop. Baby boop. Okay, I guess not. Okay. Well, we'll just go along here, won't we, guys? I'm up for anything. I'm up for anything. I don't mind what happens. I have no idea what's gonna happen. I just hope Johnny and John do come with me. They've been very faithful companions. Although Johnny's a bit of a cunt, but that's okay. It's alright. Well. Oh my god! This shit. Are you seeing this shit? Guys, am I tripping? Guys! What's happening? But the ocean looks like it's. Wah! What happens if I go down here? Not nope, nothing. It just seems to eject me. I don't know what that fucking hell, red hellhole is underneath us, but let's not worry about it. <gasps> Guys. Oh, hey, Mr. Mollusk, how you doing? Mr. Shellfish, how are you? This is nuts, where, where are we? My God, what's happening? Let's just fly into the stars. Another galaxy. Guys, what? Oh, jeez. I feel like Jodie Foster in contact. You know, in the end when she. <laughs> anyway, let's 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 get down here and and go to that place that it was pointing us to. My fucking god, though. What a beautiful game. I'm so glad I bought this. But yeah, guys, uh, check it out on Steam. Like, 10 bucks, I think. 20 bucks at the moment, if you get it early. But isn't this new? It's cool, isn't it? Playing a game when it actually comes out. It's something new for me. I think it's a good idea. Okay. And I think I'll keep these episodes 10, 10 minutes long each, but I'll upload a few of them. My god, guys. Should we go in? I don't know if I'm fully, like, I don't know if this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity to be here. I don't know if I should leave. This is fucked. I don't even want to go home to my family. I'll just fucking hang here. Let's get a look at, what is that thing? Let's not worry about it. Some questions must remain unanswered. In the universe, let's go in here to this blue ball. Hello? The all-knowing orb, touch it. It's like Interstellar when she touches the... When Matthew McConaughey like reaches out. Oh! Take my soul, I don't need it. There you go. Manta rays! Big motherfuckers. Remember I had a teacher in school that was obsessed with manta rays. This was like, you know, year 11. Year 12 was, you know, the final year. So she was like preparing... Is happening. Mom, mom, it's erect. It's erect. 
It's so erect. The gates, the gates have opened. The mines of Moria. My cousin Boalin will give us a warm welcome. All right, let's let's go in. Johnny and John, I missed you. <gasps> Man array, can we ride this motherfucker? We can. Hello. This is nuts, Man array. I knew it. Yeah, I had a, a teacher in year eleven that was obsessed with Man arrays, and we were like, um, we have a curriculum that we need to get through because year twelve biology is fucked. And she was like, Nah, Man arrays. You need to learn about Man arrays. We were like. Is this going to be on the exam? I don't think it is. What, why are we wasting our time here, miss? Miss, what are we doing? She was a lovely teacher, but I remember in year 10 we had like this god biology genius. We pretty much had David Attenborough teaching us in year 10. And then he left the school and we were so upset. This is so beautiful. But yeah, guys, I'm, I, I love nature. I love the science behind it. I love the beauty of nature. You know, as Jeff Goldblum always said, nature, uh, finds a way. Good old Jeff Goldblum, very knowledgeable. I was watching him in Independence Day the other day. It's funny, I find it so bizarre that he used to be a sex symbol. Isn't that odd? I find it very odd. But yeah, let me know what you like, guys. I mean, do you want me to talk about nature or just kind of like, whoa, dude, PewDiePie react to everything or like I think we'll do a mixture of everything I think it's nice to just hang out and have a chat in this beautiful relaxing environment you know take it nice and slow you know much like that virgin when you <gasps> Johnny and John take some pictures can you guys take some selfies I need to put this on insta look this is well we got some backstory here don't worry guys I can read the hieroglyphics okay Johnny all right so, these dudes were hanging out, um, basically, there was this aphrodisiac cactus thing here, um, and like, all these dudes were like, let me fuck the cactus, I wanna like, fuck the cactus, and they were like, no! So they all like, shared it, and glorified the super orgasm cactus. Um, and you know, they, they, they carried it around, and tickled each other with, with feathers because that was what they were into. It was a homosexual colony, which is fine. Doesn't matter. Nothing wrong with that. Mr. Jelly, how are you? What happens if I touch his little tentacles? Will I get stung? I wonder. Nope. Apparently I'm immune. I'm immune. Let's read this one over here. What do we got? Shark men. Very normal. Can you please light some light here, motherfuckers? Please. The fishy? So, shark people. I understand. So this is what happens when you spend too long with orgasm cactus. You become a shark person. I bet you're glad that I'm here with you on this journey. To inform you about some of the backstory. Well guys, look at this cave. It's funny how there's nothing living in here. I wonder why that would be. You'd think there'd be heaps of stuff living in here. All sorts of dangerous critters. Yeah guys, I grew up uh, in Melbourne. I used to go down the coast. A place called Sorrento. Um... And, um... OH MY GOD! JOHNNY! NO! NO! MOTHERFUCKER! John! Fuck, now I'm stuck with you! I'm stuck with Johnny! I get their names confused, I know, I'm sorry. That was John, John's gone, now I got Johnny. We will mourn for him. We will mourn for him. For 20 days and 20 nights. There will be a feast. A feast in his honor. Oh man, that was so scary. Anyway, what was I? What was I saying? Let's fly through here. Use the brakes. Sweet. Backflip. All right, come on. Can we go up to the surface? We. Did you fucking see that shit? I just did a flip. Man, <gasps> it's the Triangle of Xenthar. God, there's really not much land. Which is surprising, seeing how close the land underneath is to the water surface level. But that's okay. It's very close. All right, Johnny, just be careful. The Great White took our brother, our brother. Let me in, let me in, please. It's, it's me. I'm back! My beautiful wife! Kids! Johnny, where are you going? Johnny!
me. No! Motherfucker.